Hello, welcome to West Ham Confidential on Revelator Alf. Yes, I've actually brought the show uh, out into the El Fresco dining area. Uh, yep, so midweek, um, basically, all starting to get over the uh, disappointments of the last two matches, uh, but it's only two games into the season. Come on, let's have a bit of perspective. Uh, yes, I've even had to remind myself. Uh, but we look forward to Arsenal this coming week. Um, Wilshire is uh, going back to the club that he spent most of his career at uh, from a boy. So yes, it's going to be emotional for him. He's even uh, remarked upon that himself. Uh, but we're hoping that he's going to be the real professional and uh, shine on the day. Now, this is going to be a real tough ask, I think, against Arsenal. They've got a great uh, forward lineup. I think they're still vulnerable in defence. We're a bit of a shambles all over, really, at the moment. Uh, but, you know, with... With Wilshire in the middle, I think if they rejig, uh, Pellegrini rejigs uh, the defence a little bit, uh, change the personnel, I think I'll probably have a bit more pace in there as well. So I'll probably have uh, Fredericks in there on the right hand side. Um, I'd have Rice at left back. I know a lot of people are calling him for going to the centre, uh, centre back pairing, but I'd have him at left back. I'd get rid of Mas Masuaku. Um, I'd actually have Masawako on the left. I'd have Anderson in the middle with uh, Wilshire, Yarmolenko on the right. I actually go quite attacking on this. And I know, you know, sometimes you think, well, you've got to really be defensive. Um, so there are either two ways. You either have Sanchez in the middle of, uh, in front of the flat back four and go, you know, hold the game as best you can, or you try and go attacking. So you can have that flat back four, then have Masawako, Anderson. Uh, Wilshire and then Yarmolenko uh, across and then he just play one up front either Hernandez or Anatovic. Um I think <clears throat> possibly we kind of have we have to concentrate on or Pellegrini needs to concentrate on being defensively minded and uh, getting that structure right and getting the players you know playing to his system then build on from there um, it's all it's all well and good, you know, going out and you know, play trying to play your game. But if it's just not working, all the players aren't responding to it, then you've got to come up with another plan. So I think obviously that's what they're looking at. Now, what is really encouraging this week, uh, and also last week, in all fairness, uh, the players have been coming out on their social media platforms, whatever they're using, and they're even you know saying it themselves it just isn't good enough it has been disappointing they're going to try and work harder you know yeah maybe it's platitudes maybe it's uh it's something that they feel they need to say however it's also good to hear as well that they're acknowledging um that it hasn't been quite uh, as good as it could have been um so you know there's lots of work to to do we're still only two games into the season yet we can all have a moan and critically analyze the performances but you know these things will take time to mature and you know but we're hoping that it matures rather quickly um, we can't wait for a fine wine to develop we actually need you know a bit of a uh, bit of scrumpy cider you know straight away basically uh, so we need a bit of fit a uh, bit of fight we need a bit of gristle in there um, uh, grit, determination. So all the things that as, us as fans, of any club, not just West Ham, that's what we want to see our players do. You know, we want to see them put up a good fight. And that's possibly why we're a bit disappointed as well, because we were overly optimistic, overly expectant going into the season, and we just didn't see much of a, much of a battle. Uh, you know, I don't mind, well, I do mind, of course, but I don't particularly mind getting tonked four or five nil, six nil, by a much superior team if we put up a really good challenge. The problem is if we haven't put up a good challenge and we still lose, and that's where it's a sort of bit demoralizing. It's a different look this season, definitely. Obviously we've got new personnel, new manager, but it's a new style. I think the football has a potential to be a lot more insane and a lot more attacking. Under Moyes last season, for much of uh, many of the games, we were just too defensive and too ineffective against really poor opposition when we should have actually gone on the offensive. This year it already seems that we are trying but it's just not working very well at the moment so it's just not clicking into place but I, you know it's fine-tuning here <clears throat> and then obviously 
you know, against those teams in and around us, um, you would say out, any, well, any team out of the top six, top seven, that's where, you know, we're, um, you know, we're, that's where our battleground is really. Yeah, if we can get points off the top six, you know, um, all, all well and dandy, but that's where our battleground is. That's where Pellegrini needs to focus. And let's face it, you know, we've lost two games this season already, but how many games did we lose last season and the season before and the season before? And we're, you know, so you know, you, you're allowed to lose matches, unfortunately. You know, we all want them to win every match, but the reality is you're going to lose matches throughout the season. <clears throat> Unless you're a Man City Liberals and they'll seem to win everything. Um, but, you know, we've got, we've got an opportunity to build on the disappointments, build on the defeats, go to Arsenal, give them a damn good uh, game, you know, show a bit of fight, show a bit of determination. And if it doesn't work, and it, you know, we, we get beat, but if we can actually not capitulate and, you know, put up a decent fight and come away either with a narrow loss, but a, you know, but a really good performance or a great, you know, great draw, That'd be fantastic. Okay, a win will be absolutely fantastic, but I just don't think we got the firepower or the the ability to hurt Arsenal that much. So I think you know a draw w would be good. I could be completely wrong. I think you know it could be a a, a best one all, a, a two all draw. <laughs> it could end up being five four or five all. You know who knows? Um, you know I'm, I'm not a mystic Meg here. I don't <laughs> I don't have a crystal ball, but you know we're, we're all as we're all as um, we're predicting, you know, based upon what we fear. And I feel that you know we're not we're not good enough going forward right now. We're not good enough in defence right now. So we need to tighten up at the back, tighten up in midfield. I think we need to pack the midfield out. That's why I'd like to go, you know, essentially a five across the midfield, four at the back, and one up front. Um, I'm not too sure about playing a three-three. I don't. You know, I think, uh, well, match of the day last week, it said that we had a 3-3, and others were saying, well, actually, it's more like a 4-4-2. So I think match of the day might have got that wrong. However, if that's what Pellegrini is doing, going 4-3-3, I don't think three is good enough in, in, um, in midfield. We need to pack that out more. So I, I would definitely go, my personal vision, formation, if you like, would be four at the back, hold a midfielder sitting in front, um, four in midfield as well but spread out wide um, <clears throat> and then one up front I think that's what on reflection that's why I've um, you know that's what I'd like to see you know will Wilshire you know dominate the game will he have an effective game will Noble feature and that's the thing lots of people are calling for him to be dropped I, I kind of agree I think he should I think there's a good shout to have Rice recalled, and I think there's a good shout to have Fredericks recalled. Although I was really pleased with Zabaleta's performance last week. Fabianski is doing well. He's shot stopping. He's commanding his box. Yeah, I know he's letting in goals, but I wouldn't put though, all of them down to him. Um, but he, you know, he's doing quite well. Um, you know, Anatovic, yeah, he's he's been okay. I wouldn't say he's been you know set the world on fire either. Uh, and Hernandez, he's done all right actually. So, you know, although he hasn't had a lot, lot of action, you know, he, he's done all right. Especially, you know, he had a couple of shots, a couple of good passages of play. He was tracking back. He was trying to look for the ball last week. So, you know, whether he can be an able substitute to come on, you know, in the second half, you know, I, th I think, uh, you know, fortune favours a brave. You know, and we, we might come away with something. Anyway, so uh, what do you think? Do you think Noble should be dropped? Should we, do you think Rice and uh, Frederick should come back in? Should we, you know, tweak the system a little bit? Concentrate on defence more, you know, for, for the time being? Um, well, you know, we all have an opinion, you know, mine and is no better, no worse, I suppose, than anybody else's. Well, it could be a lot worse than anybody else's, I suppose, uh, th those in the know. Um, but anyway, hope you're enjoying the video. So thanks for all the subscribers and all the recent comments. It's been really, really nice, really humbling. And, uh, well, catch you on the next uh, you know, West Ham Confidential. Hopefully, hopefully, it'll be something to celebrate, something to cheer on Saturday afternoon. And, uh, you know, we can uh, all be positive for next week. Going into the Carabao Cup against uh, AFC Wimbledon and then build momentum. I think so what this is, you know, the, the new mantra, you know, is build momentum. Go, keep moving forward, keep pushing forward. 
And then, you know, get confidence into that team, confidence into the players, the way they're playing with each other, the way, that understanding with each other. And then, you know, go on to Wolves the week after, you know, and hopefully get some points there. And then, then our season's off and running. But if we don't get a, a decent performance this week and we don't build on momentum for Wimbledon, then we're going to start feeling pressured. The fan pressure is going to get intense. You know, Twitterville is just going to go crazy in Facebook or whatever you're on. I mean, I, and I, I tend to try and avoid, you know, all that, try and engaging too much because there's some warped, you know, uh, opinions out there. Some very vitriolic opinions out there as well, i got to say. Um, so, you know, let's just um, simmer, patience, and hopefully, you know, we'll, uh, we'll come out on top in the end and the season and get going. Right, catch you next time on West Ham Confidential, wherever that is. Cheers.